Everywhere I go, I see his face. Yeah, I play Friday Night Funkin'. If you've been online any time in the past few months, you already know about the game Friday Night Funkin'. It feels impossible to escape because at every single turn, on every single website, there are people talking about the game. What's going on though? How has something as simple as this become so widely spread across the world in such a short amount of time? Let's find out. Friday Night Funkin' is a rhythm game that was created in late 2020. It heavily relies on keeping the legacy of Newgrounds alive, which was a behemoth in classic internet animations. Now as for the story of the game, it centers around a boyfriend. Yeah, that's his actual name. His mission is simple, get the girl. In order to do that, he'll face off against a variety of wacky characters in songs that honestly are absolute bops. The game is divided by weeks, with more than a few different songs, yet despite new levels, the core mechanic stays the same. You press some arrows, and you time it along with the music. That's it, chief. It's not a controversial statement to say that Friday Night Funkin' is basic. There's not a whole lot here in terms of gameplay, and the story isn't like a massive adventure, but something about it is incredible. Let's just say there's a reason this won't go away. Well, to be more specific, there are several reasons. I think a big factor in Friday Night Funkin's popularity lies in the game's general presentation. Like I said before, it's heavily inspired by that Newgrounds Flash kind of style. When we realize that Flash is dead and Newgrounds animations aren't anywhere near as popular, nostalgia is what brings people back for more. For those who grew up watching Newgrounds videos, this feels like a blast from the past. It's like, for just a small moment, you've escaped real life and traveled back in time to a simpler era. <laughs> Pretty tight bars for a little dude who's simping over and ugly, boring little teenager that wears her mom's clothes. <laughs> The fact that a game like this can release in modern day is proof that the fans are still out there. The internet is a completely different place than it once was, and the 2000s were especially known for being uh, less complicated. Friday Night Funkin' uses that simplicity to its advantage, creating a rhythm game that embraces nostalgia while keeping things new. What's also worth mentioning is that the team behind the game is passionate about what they're making. They grew up around the Newgrounds era and understand why people fell in love with it in the first place. This aesthetic and character design captures the unique feel from so many years ago, which isn't easy. Basically, the whole project here is one filled with love and genuine appreciation for Flash games. It's a by the fans for the fans kind of deal, and I think that's just awesome. What also helps keep Friday Night Funkin' alive is the fandom. Even if you're not a fan of the game or you don't like rhythm stuff, that's completely fine. But still, I feel like anyone can have fun with what the players are putting together. Because the game is set up so you can add in anything you want, there have been countless mods. If a certain character exists, there's a pretty good chance you can battle them in the game. You don't really need to be an expert, put together a character, and boom, Sans. <laughs> The amount of content here is endless, which explains why I keep seeing mods pop up in my recommended. Oh yeah, and while we're on the topic of fan content, can we please appreciate the Friday Night Funkin' animations? Seriously, people have been blowing my mind. Since the game is reliant on strong animation and characters, of course it would all work well in fan content. This is actually the video that got me to play the game. Look, I commented, my favorite animation so far comes from Postboy, who created a commercial that would air for a Friday Night Funkin' PlayStation version. Yeah, I'm flying. And she was basic. Look in her eyes, and I feel like taking it for the win. Her dad be evil, no twin. Skin burp like the spice sip in. He opened his gap, and you wouldn't believe with the sound of an angel when he spit in. It's nostalgic, full of memes, and feels like it's made with love for the era. It may feel like you can't escape all of this content surrounding the game, but that's also not a bad thing either. This is gold. At the end of the day, Friday Night Funkin's very existence makes me smile. It's the type of game that brings old and new fans together, a game filled with nostalgia, and an understanding of what brought internet content to where it is today. Newgrounds may not get as many people talking now as it did before, and yet games like these prove that the legacy is still alive. And above all else, the game is just fun. There's a lot of potential for Friday Night Funkin' in the future, and I'm looking forward to seeing where all of it goes. Three, two, one. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below well, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.